Hi everyone, it's Jacia. Welcome back to my channel. I had asked you guys over on my Instagram. If you do not follow my Instagram, the link to all my social medias will be in the description box down below. So go ahead and go and check it out. But that way you guys can participate in polls or answer any questions that I may have for you guys. So I did ask you guys what kind of look did you guys want to see me do? And I got a lot of people say they wanted to do they wanted me to do everyday makeup though. If you guys like what I created then go ahead and keep watching. This is not my body, this is not my home. So I'm just gonna start off with skincare and it's just prepping my face. I'm prepping my skin with the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. It's the water gel. I really love this stuff. It goes on super lightweight. Like this is the consistency. It's my mirror. So I've changed up a little bit in my routine from my get ready with me. You guys saw like, I don't know, maybe just like a little bit of like what I do with my makeup. But I've changed up a few things, I've bought more products, new brushes. When you guys asked me for everyday makeup, it was kind of difficult because my everyday is no makeup. Like my everyday look is no makeup. But when I think about Jaseo, who is Jaseo? What kind of makeup is my go-to? It is like big liner, neutral eye, big liner. By the way guys, if I don't show you everything that I'm using, um, I'm going to be trying to like talk out everything that I'm using but if I miss anything don't worry I'm gonna have everything that I use every brush every product in the description box down below now I'm just gonna be using the, the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump I like to have something like sitting on my lips while I do my makeup just so they're really moisturized this stuff smells really really good and it does burn like it tangles does it plump my lips no I don't need it like my lips are already naturally pretty juicy and one thing that I did want to address is my voice I don't sound the same that I've sounded in my previous videos and that is because I am struggling with it's trying to burn I've been struggling with my tonsils being enlarged I am getting it taken care of probably gonna get them surgically removed so in the meantime, I'm just going to keep creating content for you guys. Okay, it's really burning. <laughs> yeah, so in the meantime, I'm going to keep creating content for you guys. Just please bear with the sound of my voice. Thanks. And now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. Okay, so in my last makeup video, I did my eyebrows off camera and um, a lot of you weren't too happy about that. So I'm going to show you why. I'm going to do them on camera today. Um, let me try to zoom in. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I am not like an expert. I just do my best. So basically, I'm going to draw like a line. I'm using the NYX Fill and Fluff Brow Pencil. I don't actually like the other end. It's not a spoolie. It's like a brush. and I, I don't like it. So I just use the spoolie. So I kind of like go up like creating that angle. I don't know if you guys can see it pretty good. And then I go ahead on the top. And... And just go up and then I drag it down and then I start to fill it in Okay, so now that my eyebrows look completely hideous, but they're very filled in, I'm going to go ahead and kind of, 
and use my spoolie. It's just an old spoolie from like my Jaunted Blue. Old, like, like finished. Um, what am I saying? My finished eyebrow pencil, the one I used to use. And I'm just going in and kind of lightening up the front of my brow and taking some of that product off. These are all the new brushes that I got. This is from all these are Morphe brushes. They come in this little like tube tub. Um, and this is the complete James Charles set. I'll be trying them out for the first time. So this is the Morphe M410 brush. It's just like a regular flat brush. I'm gonna use it to carve out my brow. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. In this shade, mid tan, mid, med tart sand. Why can't I speak today, y'all? Dang. I just go ahead and I put a little bit on the back of my hand, like so, to here, like so. Both the front and the back. I'm going to carve. neater this brow is than this brow. <laughs> Okay, now that you guys are still zoomed in, I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyes. I'm going to be using a very natural palette. This is the Morphe 350 what she looks like um i'm gonna go ahead and use this color for my crease color i don't know if these shadows came with names if they do i'm sorry i don't know them okay so i'm gonna use the morphe m441 so i'm gonna go ahead and dip into that color tap off the excess powder Now with that same brush, I'm going to tap over into this color right here and just darken up my eye. I wanted to talk to you guys just about like my life a little bit of a life update currently I have moved I now live in New York I'm living with my aunt and my uncle and my cousin I'm having a lot of fun fun fact I was born in New York and raised in Florida I'm gonna go ahead and like wing it out a little bit I know right now I look very crazy, but I'm begging you guys to please just trust the process. Yeah, so I'm here, and for those of you that don't know, I haven't told YouTube yet, but I also got a dog. I'm going to pop a picture of him right here on the screen. This is my dog, King. Um, he is three years old. He was my cousin's dog that I have now fully adopted but yeah he definitely keeps my life a little bit more interesting time for the fun part is foundation i love the maybelline fit me line i'm gonna be using the shade 330 that is also called toffee caramel i think this is more my 
shade right now. I might mix it. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to mix it. So, a lot of you might notice that there's something missing. Um, my tongue piercing, it's officially gone. I did take it out. I think a few of you asked me, like, how's it doing now in that video? Which, by the way, right now is sitting at 11k views. Psh, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Like, that's incredible. I didn't think that it would reach that many people i'm gonna pour some on the back of my hand and i'm going in and i'm just gonna like dab so yeah guys honestly truly thank you guys so much for 11,000 views you guys that means the world to me that like 11,000 people you know like clicked on my video you guys clicked on my video and was just like interested to see how that journey went so for those of you who don't know what video I'm talking about I it'll be on the screen right now in one of the eyes one of the corners the little eye you guys can go click on it so I think for okay so I had my tongue web pierced that's under here and like that skin um I have that first that was my first ever piercing you guys know I also got my lobes and my rub done in that video as well um I did take out the tongue piercing because honestly it was crooked it was really crooked I tried to film a video for you guys and when I was editing it, the whole time I just see the tongue piercing like flopping around in my mouth and I was like, yeah, I just, I can't do this. I thought changing the size of the jewelry would make it less noticeable so I didn't have to go through the pain of getting it re-pierced. But it was still pretty noticeable. I am gonna get it re-pierced and I will try to film it for you guys. I don't know when I'm getting it um, re-pierced. I can't promise I'm going to film it, like I'm going to do my very best, but you know, it just depends on the shop and their rules. And I did take out my tongue web piercing because um, my doctor had suggested it when I was getting like my tonsil infection. She was just thinking like maybe it was the piercing that was making me get it affected um it wasn't so i feel like i took it out for no reason but i just let it be because i'm going to get it pierced anyways i'm gonna have to take it out anyways for surgery if they're gonna do any like if they're gonna remove my tonsils so i decided it's fine i'm just gonna take that out as well and then i'll get them pierced the same day and with my tart shape tape and i'm going to highlight I don't know what that was. Um, I did, however, get a new piercing. I did not get it filmed, but it is my industrial, if you guys can see it. Honestly, it was one of those piercings that I've wanted for a really, really long time, so I was really happy when I got it. It was painful definitely painful but like if anything were to happen to it I would get it re-pierced so it wasn't that bad I don't think I have any piercing now that like I wouldn't get done again if I had to I always have the issue of like on camera i don't know if it's the lighting but it just always looks so light but in person like it doesn't look that light i think if there was anything else i had to update you guys on besides that <sighs> oh my music so okay um i'm using the la girl pro concealer this is in the shade toast 
Okay. So guys, the song that plays in my intro um, is my song. It's an original song by me. It's called I Hate It Here. I would love, love, love if you guys check out, you know, this song on music platforms. And also, I made a lyric video for it on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I'd just really be grateful if you guys would check it out or send it to a friend that you know struggles with any kind of mental health issue, body image. They might, you know, appreciate it. But I do have another song that I'm working on. For those of you, well, I don't think I've actually talked about it. I know I've tried to film a few videos about like my music process. But how I write my music, I write just kind of like, um, I write lyrics, um, get like a melody, and then once I've completed my lyrics, I send it to a producer who will then find a beat of my, like, who will make a beat. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face. Morphe bronzer in the shade of Megastar. This is Morphe's bronzer brush in the style E4. E4? Yeah. Just going to go ahead and like dip it really well. This product here I'm very excited about. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Translucent Honey. I was really excited when they came out with this shade because Translucent was just a little too light for me. Going ahead and I'm dipping with a sponge. going to lightly set my the rest of my face with this and sweeping off smooth that now I don't like baking for too long so I'm just gonna go ahead now and sweep off that product Going in with this Morphe E62 brush. It's like a perfect angled brush. I'm really excited to try it out for my nose contour. I'm going in with my sponge and the translucent powder and I'm going to like draw a straight line under here let's really just cut that and make that really precise An attempt to give me some cheekbones sitting on my face I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush for blush I'm gonna be using the morphe 
blush trio and this is in the shade pop of poppy mix the shades provocative and risky and i'm using the morphe m405 brush go ahead and wipe off the beak that's been sitting here At this point now I'm going back into my morphe m50 palette and I'm going to add some color under my eye Using the Morphe M506 brush and I'm going ahead and tapping into this darker color right here that I used on my eye and I'm going to put it put on the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. You all have seen this being raved on TikTok. It's actually my first time using it. I don't really care for mascaras, but I'm going to use it and do um, my bottom lashes. Now, I don't like putting mascara on my top lashes. I feel like it makes my eyelashes too curly and incredibly difficult for me to put on my lashes. I wear false lashes anyways. So, if it was a case like I had blonde hair and I'm putting on black lashes and it's going to be obvious, I would wear a mascara, but my natural lashes are dark. And so, it doesn't really matter. So before I go ahead and put on my lashes, I'm going to be using the, the Balm Schwing Eye Black Liquid Eyeliner. Mm. This stuff is really good. It dries matte. It's very, very like small tip and it makes it a lot easier to like control what you're doing. you guys can see how matte it does dry down I absolutely love this liner it's really really good moving on to lashes these are my 25 millimeter lashes that I bought I don't remember the brand name but like I said don't worry guys I'm going to list everything in the description box down below where I got them from I think I'm going in in the style Bianca these right here the lash glue that i'm going to use is the tardiest pro this is tarts brand black lash glue i love black lash glue especially when you have on um eyeliner i feel like it's just so much easier and you can't see it some of the clears they dry down and like you can kind of see like the glue oh and this guys what i love about this is it's a brush tip i don't know if you guys can see it so this is a brush tip that we can just easily like brush it on to with a lash and I put it on the inside of the band right here.
For highlight, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Highlight Powder, and this is in the shade 33B Golden Flower Crown. If you want a really good pigmented highlight, look at this. Watch. Do you guys see that glow? I'm going to be using the Morphe brush M501, and I'm going to using that to apply my highlight. my new favorite lip combo this is both kkw beauty this is the lip pencil in the shade new 2 and i'm going to use new 2 lipstick I'm just going to go in with a clear gloss, Essence Shine 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 Gloss. And with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, I'm going to give my face a good spritz. Just let that dry. Okay guys, so that is it for today's makeup tutorial. If you guys liked it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below any other video ideas that you guys want to see from me. Make sure to hit that bell button so you guys can get all my notifications when I post. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!